Breaking news! Breaking Vision Studio releasing their brand new game, Palestine Retro. We'll be covering what this new game is all about. Next, an unexpected announcement from Jay announcing the official return of Ultimate Ensemble. What does this mean for the copies? Then, a special announcement from yours truly on a brand new show for First Prime. Welcome back to Roblox 10 News. we got some exciting news to share with you in tonight's broadcast. As usual, I'm your host Prime, and today's co-host for this episode is Trixie Pictures. Let's begin with what y'all came here for. The Ultimate Ensemble Fever has skyrocketed since our last broadcast, and the previous one before that, as it reached over 11,000 views. I'm glad many of you tuned in, but as expected, the remakes did get striked. However, the original accusations claim that Morbin Time took their game down, which in retrospect sounds pretty silly, and we were right. It was Jai who striked them down as predicted, but why? That question will be answered shortly. However, the developers of the game seems to not want to quit so easily, and instead have been working on a solution to make the game better, introducing Parzy onto their team, for their own original models and new functions to be added in their game. Now then, why did Jai strike down the game? While there is no official answer from Jai himself, he instead announced, following his previous actions, that Ben 10 Ultimate Ensemble is officially returning to the platform. While fans are beyond ecstatic for the return, with an official release date to cap it all off, people like me are wondering, why exactly is he doing this? Considering he had a multitude of problems with the game and the community, and rightfully so, due to it being pretty toxic and problematic, he seems to acknowledge why he wanted to leave Ultimate Ensemble for good, but still wants to go along with reopening the game. Confused as we are, it still won't stop the inevitable, as the game is slated to reopen on March 23rd. We'll be there for the day of the release to review players on their thoughts of the release. Speaking of thoughts, I asked a question to the members of the Ami Society Discord server on their thoughts of the strike, and if other remakes would share the same fate. I also informed them to be as honest as they like. So then, here are their responses. And more, it truly seems like 2024 is the year of Ultimate Ensemble, as stated by our reporter, Future 10 Games YT. On to our next story, a brand new game has been released by Breaking Vision Studios, a passion project they've been wanting to focus on since having the opportunity to step away from making Ben 10 games. Trixie Pictures, if you please. Thanks, Prime. That's right, viewers, you're now looking at the brand new story-driven game called Alphine Retro, where similar to Ben 10, you can transform into creatures, or here, they're called forms, made by the Alphines that contain their own special elements. Here's the trailer for the new game created by the founder, Casey. Let's take a look. A fantastic game indeed, be sure to check it out, it will be linked in the description for you to play. Now that we've gotten the most important stories out of the way, it's perfect time to tell you about a brand new show coming to my channel. The show is called Roblox Five Nights at Freddy's, with brand new episodes also coming to this channel's Omni Network for a cable TV style live broadcasting. 
That's all from us here at Roblox 10 News. Thanks for tuning in once more. And of course, having me on this episode, Prime. Of course, Trixie, anytime. And that goes for everyone else watching the show. You can be a co-host as well by just simply requesting in the comments below. And if you have any other reports that you want to give to us, you can also send it there. Until then, this is Prime. And me, Trixie Pictures. And we're signing off for Roblox and News. We'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone.